Hey everybody, I hope uh, you are having a, a decent week with uh, everything that's been going on. We made it to week two. We made it, we did it. Keep on going. Uh, it's It's been uh, interesting. The novelty of all this has worn off, uh, I'd say even a while ago. And uh, and it's it's getting a little little difficult if uh, if you're like me. And so, uh, so anyhow, I thought we would continue our theme of uh, for small groups, uh, which is called well, when things get tough. And today's passage comes from Matthew chapter eight, uh, verses twenty three to twenty seven. Uh, in the context of this passage, Jesus has been very busy doing ministry, healing people, caring for people, uh, teaching, and all kinds of stuff. And then it says here, it says, Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. So there's three things I want you to get from this passage. First of all, I mean, I don't know if you've ever been out on the lake when a storm comes on, but I've had uh, that uh, unusual opportunity where I was with a friend one time, and we saw some clouds coming, and he was very frantic and wanting to, to get the boat off the water and onto shore. And I was like, oh, it's so far away. It's no big deal. But it was amazing on Lake Erie how quickly a, a storm can come upon you so fast uh, before you have a, an opportunity to take shelter. And, uh, and it's just crazy. Uh, but the first thing I want you to get from this passage is that God has power over every storm. If the wind and waves don't concern him, then they shouldn't frighten you. And I know that's easy to say. It's a tough time we're living in. It's, it's scary the way people are reacting and what's going on. But we need to make sure that we understand uh, that God is still God and we can put our faith and trust in him and that he has power over every storm. Uh, you may not be able to change your situation, but you can choose to faithfully trust God in the middle of it. So we want to put our... Yeah, so this is an opportunity. There, I mean, there's a lot of life that doesn't offer opportunities very much for us to put our faith in God uh, because we have a good life. And, uh, and so it, it takes a little bit more effort to put our faith in God, but it's when we go through tough times, when we go through storms in life, that we are challenged to trust that God is, has power over every storm. And the second thing I want you to get is that we need to fix your, you need to fix your eyes on Jesus uh, as he leads us to peace. It's very interesting that Jesus is asleep here and in the middle of a storm. Now, I've been on a boat uh, when in the midst of uh, waves on the lake. One time I went uh, fishing with a group of pastors on a fishing expedition out in the Lake Erie. And it wasn't stormy, but it was wavy. And all of them took Dramamine thinking that this will be, uh, uh, they need to calm their stomachs so they don't get sick. And I was like, you know, being like a tough guy, like, ah, oh, I don't need that. I've been, I grew up on Lake Erie and that doesn't affect me. Well, sure enough, uh, you know, I'm sitting there trying to fish and, and I'm not feeling good. And it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse because of the waves, constant movement and just rocking back and forth uh, to the point where I eventually uh, leaned over the side of the boat and uh, tossed my cookies and it was not pretty. Uh, so I know that the fact that Jesus is asleep uh, in the midst of the storm on this boat is just amazing. So are you looking at the size of the storm or turning toward the one who can calm it? Understand that Jesus can calm the storm. Uh, it's only by focusing on God who knows every outcome that you can navigate any situation with him in his wisdom and peace. So, so Jesus gives us that opportunity to, to look to him to find peace and know that uh, he's, he's going through this with us. And so we want to fix our eyes on Jesus, which leads us to peace. And then thirdly, Jesus is always in the boat with us. 
I mean, it's fascinating to me that Jesus didn't panic when the disciples woken up and they were all panicking. Jesus didn't feed into the fear. He didn't give into that. He didn't all of a sudden get freaked out because if he did that, then we'd all be in trouble. Uh, but Jesus was able to stay calm. He was able to stay uh, peaceful. He even rebuked them for having so little faith. And he told the storm uh, to subside, and it did. And even after they've seen him do all these uh, miracles of healing people and all his teachings and stuff, it seemed they still had a little bit of doubt in them that when the winds and the waves finally obeyed him, uh, the disciples were blown away by that. They couldn't believe it. But what I want you to get on this third point here is that it's easy to focus on our fears when you can't control your future. Be th but thankfully, Jesus knows your future, and he's always by your side. And he calls you to live by faith, not by sight. So keep this in mind as you, as you wrestle with this passage and maybe talk about it amongst your small group. If you have a chance, I would encourage every small group to zoom in uh, and have a conversation over this. Pray for each other. Uh, questions that I want you to ask are, you know, how are you doing? How's your mental health? How are you doing spiritually during this time? Uh, whether you do it through a group chat or Zoom, I don't care. But just understand that God has power over every storm. It's up to us to put our faith and trust in him that he's going to carry us through and give us peace through the storm. And Jesus is always in the boat with us. Jesus went through the storm with the disciples. Christianity is not about avoiding the storms. It's about going through the storms knowing that God is with us and he's going to carry us through to the end. And not only that, but he's going to uh, reveal to us uh, the nature of our faith in such a way that, that just like with the disciples, it, it exposed uh, a, a weak faith. Uh, and th these are the ways that, that God challenges us to put our faith and trust in him, uh, even though sometimes you know, our few, things look uncertain and we just don't know how long this is going to last or what this is going to be or... Uh, uh, what, what it's going to do to uh, America. I don't know. I just don't know. I, uh, but we got to trust in God that he's going to weather through this storm with us. And, you know, God didn't say, oops, this wasn't a mistake. Uh, it, it, it's happened. It's, it's not caused by God. Uh, but he's there with us through the storm. He's there with us through the difficult times uh, to encourage us, to inspire us, and to help us to live uh, a life of faith. So keep that in mind as, uh, as this is our second week of when life gets tough. And uh, we'll come back next week with a, another small group lesson. In the meantime, don't forget tonight we have a virtual activity at 6.30. I'll send out an email uh, link about that. And, uh, and you guys uh, check it out and do whatever it asks you to do. Because uh, there's some great prizes on the line. Uh, so I want to encourage you to check that out. So 6.30, uh, now send out the link. I love you guys. Take care and uh, be safe and be smart.